Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to XCOM Asia as we visit Japan for Operation Frozen Sleep in what may be our most spiritual operation yet. In an unfortunate display of collateral damage, a UFO shot down by one of our interceptors has crash-landed in the largest Zen garden in the country. And though we've tried to fix things by Feng Shui in the barracks, the consequences are clear. If we don't clean up our extraterrestrial eyesore, we will be the ultimate karmic dirtbags. But don't panic, because nobody restores harmony like Beagle. As we move out, we must ensure that our energies are at peace with the land, as an uneven spirit will- Oh, shut up! Anyway, like I was saying, as we move out, remember our golden rules. Follow the leader and take short baby steps. Don't be afraid to end your move out of cover, because as long as you haven't triggered any aliens, you're safe as houses. But speaking of aliens, as we wade through the garden, we sense a dark energy. Clearly, these are the vandals we've come to remove. And by the sound of it, they're behind this little hillock. Luckily for us, we can use the high ground as concealment and sneak up close without being spotted. Checking where you think there are enemies is much the same as checking places in general. Take it slow and make sure all your people are ready with full moves before poking your head in. Enemy in sight. Now that we've seen where the little rascals have run to, we can make a plan. And looking at this terrain, I've got one in mind. Currently, because of the way the hill is blocking sight, the aliens can only see Ranos, which means if we hunker him down and put the rest on Overwatch, we can go Ranos fishing. Toothcake gets him on the hook, and now Ghost Dad can reel him in. Going out. Seeing his buddy go down, the other sectoid jumps out to save him. But from Ranos and Toothcake, there's no mercy. So, for our first engagement, things went pretty well. Ghost Dad had to blow up a Zen Rock, but he reads to sit kids on the weekend, so his karma should balance out. Alright, maybe Buddha's a little pissed. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. You know, Otto really has a knack for this gardening thing. With our enemies in plain sight, it's time to check our control. After a brief look at Otto's rocket angle, it's clear that we can use it to blow up both of them, which means we have control. You see, your troops missing shots isn't the risk in itself. The risk is what's going to happen when everyone misses and then the aliens shoot back. But when you can kill the enemy at any time you want, you've got control of the situation, which means we can afford to try our luck. As strange as it seems, these rookies can actually aim. And after two solid shots, there's not much left to shoot. With only one health left, we can change our control to Ranos' grenade, which means Otter gets a chance to trim something other than hedges. He's down. With the UFO's guards learning about reincarnation, there's only one wrong left to right. It's time to sneak up on the UFO and restore the balance. As always, the key is to take your time and get everyone ready. And with my SWAT team in place, it's time to yin some yangs. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. As the classic XCOM dogpile springs into action, it's time to kick back and enjoy our most successful mission yet. Like I was saying, our most successful mission yet. But as we load up the loot and head for home, we must remember the sacrifice of that brave exploded rock. But I'm sure they can replace it with a statue of Ghost Dad. So our karma is restored, which means time for promotions. For Otter, Shredder Rocket gives her a second, less powerful rocket, which makes whatever it hits take increased damage. But the pinning abilities of Suppression make it one of my favorite moves of the game. 
allowing you to reliably lock down enemies and ruin their aim. So it's Otter's next pickup. As for Toothcake, XCOM's promotion board works something like this. When a rookie can't aim, give them a sniper rifle. When a rookie hits every single shot of their first mission, give them a shotgun. But to be fair, the Assault is one of the most dangerous troopers in the game, and with his shotgun in tow you can trust Toothcake will do Kurt proud. In the base, now that we've brought home a UFO, we can research beam weapons. So take all your notes on alien materials and stuff them in the shredder. At 24 days, it's gonna be a long time to lasers, but where we're going, we need them. Pawn in some busted up alien junk gives us enough money to build our shiny new officer school, which will give us some vital upgrades when it's done in about a week. But before it can finish, the council calls us for a special assignment. Apparently, an Australian politician tried to be an alien sympathizer, and now they're shooting at him. They don't tell us who exactly he is, but I think I can guess. So it's off to Australia to save Kevin Rudd. Dropship has arrived. If you're ready to take an aggressive interest in politics, then join me next time for Operation Sacred Shroud. Until then, have a good one.